Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work and today we have another video for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and it is a case from OtterBox. This is the OtterBox Defender Pro series for your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So let's start the video, show you what I'm talking about. Pow! Alright guys, so here we have a classic case, the OtterBox Defender Pro for your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now if you guys haven't seen this case before, these are one of the most classic cases that you can actually find and a lot of people still actually buy this because you can find them in every single store because OtterBox have been doing their thing for more than 20 years I believe. But if you guys want to open this, you just have to pop open that tab, open it just like so. I'm not trying to make this video super long, but I do actually want to show you guys how to take off the case. And I know that you guys will be looking for that part of the video. So you do have your warranty information, designed for Samsung, close that read for yourself. And this one is the warranty, just like so. All right, so if you guys want to take it out of the case, you have some information about here how to install it. So you guys could actually check this out if you guys don't want to watch my video. Uh, but I hopefully you guys can watch it and subscribe to the channel. But you just basically have to put your finger and just make sure that it pops out just like that and then you can pull it out just like so. So here is the holster that it actually comes with. So you guys can hook this up to your book bag or to your belt or any way liking but a lot of people like this is so that they can stand it up and just actually watch like your YouTube and Netflix and just snap it in just like that. You just have to push this part in, snap it out. And then you have your case right there all right so if you want to take it out just do like that and if you want to install it so basically what you have to do is you just have to dig a nice little nail right into a corner or you could try to hit it from the bottom right here and just peel off just like so so just pay attention to how I do this because you do have to do the same exact procedure when you want to take it out of the phone so I mean out of the case so you do have the Defender Pro logo right there and it has a nice little padding there that'll help with the shock absorption. All right, so on the back of the shell, you will see a whole bunch of arrows one, two, three, four, five, six, just like so. And then you just have to point your finger or a sharp little object just so you could take that out. But very simple, especially if you have a nail, so it's a lot more easier. But if you don't have a nail, then you might have to use like a knife or something so you could pop it out but all right so I do have it separated just have to take your device place it in there just like so place the top shell and just make sure that you have it on the right direction so you will have the part that has the big two spaces on the bottom because it will actually be very useful having it in the right place right so you have this little rubber shell here that you have to place the phone into just like there and then you just have to use your finger just to push it in pause inside the actual case itself just like that and you just have to follow the way that is made you should have no issues you will see something like that you just have to push it all right so you do have your flap here so that will help with water and dirt and dust and you do have your access to your S Pen which looks like it's no problem to take it out and you have your little cut off for your speaker as far as the lip protection for the camera it looks really really good whole bunch of lip protection I call it lip action here's how it looks from the front you guys let me know what you guys think about it on the top and the bottom it looks really good on the side it's very minimal but it is there my apologies for the black table and the black phone because it's really not going to look that great but as far as the volume up and down it is clicky as well just keep in mind that you do not have the built-in screen protector here um, so you will not have that option so I will always suggest to actually get a screen protector like I have right here that I do have installed. I am actually working on that video currently. I just have to finish it, but 
if you guys want to take it out of the case this is what everyone wants to see all right so very similar you just have to find a point where you could dig a point or a nail and just follow all the way through just like that and you just have to take out the arrows one more time just like the start of the video one two three four five uh, I think it was six, but one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so you just take it out just like that. All right, guys, so that's about it for the video. If you guys like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I'm really looking forward to this device and what it could actually bring. If you guys haven't checked out my other videos, check out the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. So if you guys like this video, hit it with a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and more tech to come. I just wanted to see how fast I could actually install this. And here's how it looks with the holster, by the way. Totally, totally forgot to show it to you guys. And if you guys are curious about what's the difference between this one and the regular one, I will have a link down below to that video, which I actually did with a Samsung device. Or was it Apple? I'm not sure. But uh, you guys can check that out. You can see. Here's how it looks. Absolutely perfect. And you can actually do this from the inside as well. Alright, that's about it. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.